this is Sonia with Artsy Solutions and I want to show you this um, happy mail that I received from a swap partner. Um, I participated in a, a bookmark swap on the Maker Exchange and the Maker Exchange is a Facebook group that's hosted by Fam Livy's Lovelies and I'll have a link in the description um, where you can check out that uh, site and join if you like and participate in swaps and other fun events and stuff like that. So. Um, this uh, month, we were, well not just month, but um, this particular swap, we were to make two bookmarks for each other. So I've just received one, mine, from uh, Marley Ann. And um, I've already opened it up and I just covered up the information and she gave me permission to um, show her stuff on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And um, she gave me this beautiful book. It's very inspirational, and I've already read like half of it already. And basically, it's like it says, inspirations, and it covers like family, how that you know, act and respond, you know, how to value your time and things like that, get organized, all that stuff, which I need to do. So a lot of what's in here. <laughs> so let me show you the bookmark, and when she left me a message. Um, May this little book bless you as much as mine has me. Blessings to you, Marlene. That's so sweet. So here's her first bookmark, and it's really pretty. It's like crocheted and uh, knitted, and I'm, I'm not really good at stuff like that. It's so pretty. And I love the colors, and I love this little these little embellishments right here. The last time I even tried to like crochet I was in I think elementary school and I could only do like a straight line I couldn't even like you know <laughs> I couldn't get the rest of the stuff you know and then here's the second one look at this that is so pretty and it's like a little pocket like you can put stuff in there you know that is so sweet Thank you so much, Marlene. And I'll just, I love these colors too. And I'm working on a spring journal. This would definitely go good in there, or any book. Well, just I can just it's, it's a bookmark. So I I love to put stuff with my journals. I, I'm just yeah. <laughs> but I'm loving these. Thank you so so much. These are so gorgeous. So so gorgeous. And um, I'm also going to show you the ones that I made and how I made them. So um, let me go ahead and show you how I made mine. These are the bookmarks that I made for my swap partner. So I just stitched on some faux gimp onto some muslin. I put the both of the bookmarks were stitched onto some muslin. And then I just had um, there's a little kit, a freebie kit on my blog that I used. That had these uh, most of the tag, uh, not tags, but bookmarks on them, along with some of the words or sentiments, cup of Java, and then I just hand drew this little spoon and added it to this little tag that comes out. And uh, these also come with that little kit, that freebie kit. These, the sentiments, and both of the uh, bookmarks. Here's the second one, and it also has the faux gimp. And then, of course, you know, I stitched around both of them. And I just used a little Tim Holtz uh, coffee dye. And then I stitched on some uh, acetate. And then I just uh, I distressed it with different colors. And I layered it using the different color stamps and uh, distress oxides. And this is a tuck spot. You can Tuck something right here. Put a little spoon there if you like. And then um, I think I'll do that. Yeah. And then I just added some book pages. I did some embossing right here. And some stitching around the edges. And once again, so you have Reed and Cup of Java because both of these you know, typically you can get you something to drink while you sit down and read and enjoy a nice little book or whatever. And they're flat enough to where when you put them in the book, they won't, they're not too bulky, so. But they have just enough dimension. 
So let me show you how I made them. So I'm making uh, some bookmarks for a swap and so I'm going to use this freebie kit that's on my blog on Multimedia Crest uh, Digital and it's called Reading Essentials and um, so I'm just going to use it and I'm just going to go ahead and cut out some stuff. Now my printer started running out of ink so I have like slightly different tones in the uh, cork in some of these but I can fix that by um, I can add some distress inks and stuff which was what I was going to do anyway so I don't like to waste stuff so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cut some of these out okay I'm just going to take some of this distress ink uh, by Tim Holtz walnut stain and I'm just going to ink the edges. And I'm going to ink the edges to both of the bookmarks as well as the sentiments. See how when I ink the edges it turns that pinkish look back to the normal brownish look somewhat so okay and I'm going to add these words to some white cardstock. Matter of fact, I'm just going to use this leftover piece of cardstock that the paper was printed off of. But before I do that, I'm going to take some, I think I'll use a blue. Um, this, these, I have alcohol inks and this is number 69 Prussian blue. I guess I'm pronouncing that correctly, I'm not sure. I'm just going to go around the edges. I'm going to do the same thing with the bookmarks. And I'm also going to come in in the middle and just go around the center. We want these to look as natural as possible, although it is printed. And I have some ideas of what I'm going to do with it. I'm just going to take some art glitter glue and I'm going to glue both of these on here and cut it out. Okay. So now I'm just going to take an ink pen and I'm going to go across, like highlight some of these little areas. And I've got a ruler so that I can make the line straight. Let me zoom in so you can see specifically what I'm doing. Let me slide this up a little bit. So I'm just taking the pin and going across. Okay, and then I'm gonna go across this one. I'm gonna go across this one. Okay, then I'm just going to take some of this glossy accents and go across it.
Okay, so I'm gonna take one of the bookmarks, and I have the Sizzits dies, Framelit Sizzits, Framelits and Textures Fade die by Tim Holtz. This is, what is this? Coffee Time. And I'm going to probably use all the above. So I'm going to send this, a portion of this through the embossing folder. So I'm just going to send it through. how it left the embossed look to it. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one. I'm just going to come through. I think I'll emboss the other side of it. I'm just going to get like part of the upper side of it embossed. I'll just get the center of it embossed. an embossed impression. Okay, so I want to take a piece of scrap paper and some more distress ink, some walnut stain. And the stamp is about yay high. I'm going to put a stamp here and a stamp here. And then I know I'm going to go ahead and Uh, distress this piece of paper. Ooh, it's like I messed my stamp up. I mean, I messed my sponge up a little bit. I'll get another one. It's going to have a little bit of red mixed in it, but that's okay. Same stamp. Oops, I'm gonna add it to my block. Then I'm gonna take some black distress ink and some black pigment ink. And I'm gonna stamp and into both. Now I'm just going to place it right here on top. And then you have your image. And then I'm going to come through and I'm going to add some um, embossing powder. And I'm using some clear detail embossing powder. And I like this because it makes the image a little bit more pronounced. I'm just going to make sure it's completely covered. Gonna, the entire image is going to get covered or embossed because I used ink on all of it. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit. 
and then I'm just going to die cut it out. coffee cup but I'm gonna go a step farther and I want the lid a slightly different color so I'm going to stamp I'm going to color and stamp blue for the lid and I'm going to use some broken china I'm actually going to go ahead and emboss this as well since I'm embossing everything. And then I'm just going to stamp. I'm going to take that same stamp again. I'm going to go over it in black. And then I'm just going to die cut that out. Well, instead of die cutting it out, I'm going to have to fussy cut it out. Because I thought that the die that I had was the same size, but it's for the center of it. And it's not for this one. Which is still fine though. So I'm just going to fussy cut this out. I'm just going to kind of go around the edge. And this is going to fit over top, like so. And then I'll probably put something blue in the middle. Okay, so now these are dry. The little glossy accents and stuff. So I'm also just going to go ahead and stress some of these edges. I'm going to use blue and I'll go back over it with black but I might go back over it with like a black marker and I'm just going to kind of highlight these um, embossed areas with blue Now the blue shows up pretty well on this, but it isn't showing up as much on this. So I'll probably go over it with brown. So it'll do better, so you can see it better. And then I might just take a little bit of black and brush over top of it so it shows better. Yeah.
just using a regular ink pen does it much better justice than using the alcohol ink pen. Because this is a little bit more, it's more fine and you can just see it better. So yeah, let me zoom back out for you. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this on using some art glitter glue. And it kind of gives it more of a three dimensional look. And like I said, I think I'll put something blue right in here. And I'm just gonna see if I can find the leftover piece of paper that I colored on. And I'll just take like a circle punch or something. Yeah, I'll just take a circle punch. I think that's maybe a half inch circle punch, I think. Okay, so yeah. I'm just gonna come in and cut a piece of blue. I'm just gonna go around the edge with some black ink. And then what I'll do is I'll take that same die and there's a piece in here, this one right here. Let me zoom back out a little bit. There's a piece in here that basically covers up this little area in the center. So I'm going to cut out a piece of um, acetate. I have a little piece of acetate. And it's going to become a belly band. And I'm going to stitch it on. I'm going to cut out the acetate, stitch it on, and I'm going to glue on this little piece, this little blue piece in the middle. And it's going to be a belly band. Okay, so it's supposed to be a belly band, but I messed up on the stitching, which is fine. So I'm just going to still go ahead and glue this on here. So, yeah, let me get some art glitter glue. Or I think maybe I should use some Fabri-Tac. Okay, so I have some muslin fabric. And I'm just going to take some of this. I'm just going to take a little bit of this um, Fabri-Tac. I'm just going to glue these sentiments on here. I'm going to cut them out. I think I'm going to add this to some muslin as well. And this will help secure these stitches. I'm just going to fussy cut it out. Then I'm going to add. Uh, I'm going to add these. I'm add some cheesecloth behind it, and then I'll add it to some muslin. 
Okay, so I'm gonna lay this down like that. I'm gonna do both of them the same way. Just open up the cheesecloth. Put it near the edge of the muslin. I'm just gonna lay these over it to where the cheesecloth is a, over top of it and below it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this on. And the fabric tack will stick to the muslin through the cheesecloth. And I'm just going to cut these out. I really like these scissors that I got off of eBay. I got them in an auction online. And I like the uneven look that I'm leaving. I like that frayed kind of look. Okay, so I have some um, sheet music. I'm just going to tear some of it up. I'm just going to add it to some of these. And I'm also going to glue these together, and they're going to become like a uh, a pocket, or like a yeah, like a side pocket, I guess you could call it. And these right here, these are also from that kit that I had, um, the Essential Learning, or I think that's what it was called, <laughs> the little freebie kit that I got these from. So I cut those out. And uh, it was a file folder that was opened up, well, opens up. Actually, I'm just gonna glue it together because there's no need in having it stay open. I'm just glue it together so it'll stay closed. So I had the file folder and then the little book and I added it to some white cardstock and then the white cardstock up against some uh, muslin. So now, I have a piece of this fabric, some more mousse and fabric. I'm just take some of this fabric tack and I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna glue it to the bookmark. 
And this is just going to be like a backdrop. May add an extra piece of cheesecloth right there too. Yeah, I think I'll take a piece of this scrap cheesecloth. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm just gonna glue some of this uh, paper, this sheet music paper, and collage it on. And then I'm just going to take, um, actually I should have went on ahead and stitched. Let me take this off. I'll leave that portion on, but I'm going to take this off because I want to stitch around the edges and then I'll add more stuff to it. So let me stitch around the edges of these. And I'm also going to add this to it. Let me just glue it. So it'll stay in place when I go to stitch. And this is faux gimp. So I'm just going to stitch around the edge of these. Okay, so I've got these stitched up. So I'm just going to add this back on here, the way I originally had it. I'll just glue it back on. So let me do that right quick. So this bottom part and the side is going to get the glue on it. And then I think I'll put, I don't want to cover up the coffee cup. I 
this will be like a little side pocket. So I'm just going to glue some glue to the side. I'm just going to make sure that only the side of it stays glued and I can still put something down in there. I'm going to glue this one here. that up. So I guess I'll put this here where it says read. I should have thought this through. This is going to say cup of java. And I'll put it up right there. And then you can put something in behind here if you needed to. It's like a tuck spot. And you have some bookmarks and they're pretty simple but you know they're flat enough to where they'll stay in the book. And you can tuck something in behind here. And then behind here. So I'm just going to get like a piece of white paper to demonstrate. Tuck that there, and then I'm just going to get a little piece of paper on this one.
I think I'll make this shape this like a straw. Or I can shape it like a spoon. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. It has the stitches and the little spoon on the tag, cup of java, and you can see some um, embossing through there. Have your little cup, more embossing, more stitching. It says read. So I hope that this tutorial was uh, fun and interesting. And maybe you got some tips off of off of it and maybe want to try to make it yourself. So if you do like this video, please uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, check out my other videos, uh, my other social media sites, my blog. And um, as always, thanks for watching.